As you know, I have 16 kids, and a few years ago, my kids came to me and asked if we could start making home lunch. So we have, but this next week, I'm going on a business trip, and I asked them if they would be okay with having hot school lunch, and all of them complained. So I decided that I would help them be more grateful for the lunches today and bring them back 100 years in school lunches. Let's see their reaction. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Today, my kids are in for a surprise. First of all, let's just say they've been complaining a little bit too much about school lunch, so I thought I would let them in on a little bit of education about how lucky they actually are. Oh, this is nice. But first, I need to prep the lunchroom. And I gotta get some students in here. Mm, I think the lunch bell just rang. Surprise, you're perfect liar shining on me. You're like a dream sequence. All right, now that I have all of my students, guess what we're filming today, guys? What? what? 100 years of school lunch. No! No! no. Way. no. no. So let's get going with our first lunch. So in the 1910s was the beginning of school lunch and it was free. And so you got what you got. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, people. White bread, some split pea soup, and some rice. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. I think I'll just not eat. <laughs> that looks so, so bad. Dry. Uh, chunks that's in something it. that Sadie would eat. <laughs> oh, that smells like tires. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important parts. Milk. There's no amount of money you could give me to eat this. What's even in it? Ew. Your no, rice is good. <laughs> I'm not eating this. No, the bread and the rice is good. I'm not even gonna touch this spoon because I know it's been touched by that. Pretty good. Don't know about the soup though. Back then, they didn't actually have cardboard containers of milk. They just used to drink their milk out of a glass. Don't even put it on my tray. They probably like put their, Ew, their rice on heck there. Heck no, bruh. And then they this like. This is milk. I love rice. They like yes, made like a right, sandwich. Sadie. This is whole milk. Full vitamin D milk. Wait, why is it? Ew. It does why not taste it, good. What's it does not taste right? like normal milk. It's expired. No, it's not expired. Sandwich. It just doesn't taste good. Mom, my favorite milk is red milk. It smells like Ledger's bread. And just to see the lovely colors here, I'm gonna go to color for one sec. Yeah, that's um, Ew. split pea oh. soup. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, back to black and white. Well, I think that my idea is actually gonna work pretty well because I think they're already feeling a little more, more thankful for what they get at their school lunch. Oh, for sure. Than the people 100 years ago. All right, on to the next year. And now we're in the 1920s. <laughs> So fun. I kind of feel like I look like a nurse again, but yeah. this was what they How wore. Does so. that happen? All right, let's get on to lunch. In the 1920s, the average lunch was five cents, which is crazy. So in the 1920s, they focused their efforts on having a hot lunch. And this was the classic meal. They had a grilled cheese sandwich, an extra slice of bread to get in those yummy carbs, and some veggies, and of course, the milk. This actually looks good. 
Now this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna eat this up. I love bread, but I don't like those cheese. Do they have like ketchup back in the 1920s? Cause this is looking a little plain. It's good. Look at that, boy. That's so good. Actually, ketchup was developed in 1812, so they did, but guess what? Not in our lunchroom, sorry. Yeah. Are you kidding me? This is out of salt. They don't have any like spices or like seasonings or anything like that. They had double bread, that's kind of interesting. Cause like, no one wants to eat three pieces of bread. Yeah. Put your vegetables in it. You gotta get your carbs in. Well actually back then they worked really hard on the farms I bet. So they needed their carbs. That makes sense. So what came after the 1920s? The 1930s. All right guys, we are in the 1930s now and that was during the Great Depression. So food and supplies was very scarce. They would get a piece of bread with peanut butter, no jelly, and they would get a cup of vegetable broth. What? Are you, are you guys ready? Yeah. Honestly, All right. Here we go. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh. It's not as bad as it is. Yes, this is when the classic red apple was introduced that you this all are so I can't too. eat this. Oh man. This low key looks like medicine. I don't even remember when I ate an apple. Guys, ASMR. They didn't have ASMRs back then. Yeah, bro. What do you do now? Mom, did they have salt back then? Yes, they definitely had salt. Can I have salt? Um, <laughs> they don't really have salt in this lunchroom, sorry. They don't have salt anywhere. Not even in our school these days. Okay guys, I am going in for oh, this no. broth. Let's just see how it tastes. It's just vegetable broth. Yeah. It's not even that disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you it's, sure about that? It's cold. Oh, okay, well that was my bad, I guess. I should have heated it up more. The peanut butter sandwich is actually pretty good. The apple is good, the sandwich is good, and the milk is good, but I'm not trying this. I basically ate my whole entire sandwich. I don't like crust, so that's why I didn't eat the crust, but. Just, uh-uh, not the bro, uh-uh. All right, on to the 40s. Now we are in the 1940s. This is kind of the end oh. of the Great Depression from the beginning of World War II. And Harry Truman constituted the National School Lunch Act, which meant that everybody would get a hot lunch. Oh! Ooh. Mom, I actually really like this outfit because it's pink. Thank you, it's quite the color. All right, Fancy. time to get your lunch. And the delicacy on the menu today is cream chipped beef. What is this even made out of? Flour, milk, and butter. And dry beef. Ew. Yeah, that's why I'm not eating it. Can we go to the Katie next one? Katie ate it. Yeah, because she likes it. What is this? Ew, that's it! Try it! Uh. Navy, if I try your rice pudding, will you try it after me? Uh, yeah, if you like it. All right, I'll take a bite. Ready? <laughs> it's really good. I feel like if it was warm, but this just mm -mm. looks like ugh. it's supposed to be cold. It's so good. Okay. It's basically like vanilla pudding. I have to use with the rice. end of my spoon. Mm -hmm. You have to use a real spoon. Yeah. And Sadie to the rescue with the spoon. All right. I'm really scared. It's delicious. It's like vanilla pudding, and it just has little rice in it. It's delicious. Stop. <laughs> taste it. No taste gooey. it. Taste it. Taste it. <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> meal today. Um, it was after World War II and so post-war prosperity everywhere. And we had nice home cooked meals. So we had meatloaf, green beans, mashed potatoes with butter, that's delicious, an apple, and this is when the milk carton got introduced. Hey, no hey, more glass cups, people. There you go. That looks like a piece of banana bread. It yeah, does. it does. Oh, it's actually so good. Have you ever tried meatloaf? No, I think Ew. I actually have probably. Meatloaf is one of my favorites. 
It mm. stinks. This is my favorite part of the meatloaf. Oh. It's the end, and so it's the I'll most. I'll stick to the apple. Oh, I should have got that one. Uh, milk's better than the other milk. Do you guys remember the first time that you ever had to figure out how to open a carton of milk? I remember I we yes, took our whole entire class to the lunchroom by ourselves in kindergarten just to practice opening up the milk. Wow. I can't so remember the last one. You pull apart, and then what do you do? You push. You push forward. forward. Yes. And oh, sometimes yeah. the milks are a little bit gooey, and so they don't like push forward very easy. Do you ever notice that? Yeah. Like little cardboard's like. And so you have to do the other side. Look. Forward. So then you and have to do like, the other side. Let me do side. Pull it. So now you got yourself a perfect little milk. Or in my grade, if you still didn't know how to open it, you just do both, and you'd open both sides, and then yeah. pop. <gasps> and you yeah. make a mess everywhere. <laughs> And you put have a whole. Oh, oh yeah, and then they would put their oh, straw. Oh, put their in. cereal in it. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. Yeah. that was so good. Right the right little bug things. Oh, and oh, then the they bug, go. That bug. Normal lunch ladies probably use gloves, but I'm your mom, so I figured I'm okay to use And they wear hair nets. Oh yeah, they probably wear hair nets. <laughs> but this is the this is the 1950s. Oh my oh, gosh, guys. What? <laughs> She's what? devouring it. She ate her own meatloaf. It's delicious. And the potatoes are divine. Honestly, we kind of want to live in the 1950s. This is actually real good. It's like a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Green beans are actually pretty busted. So how much does a carton of milk cost at your school right now for just so, milk? Guess the milk is 50 cents. So guess what? In the 1950s, the entire meal was 25 cents. Wow. Uh, at my school, it's like 350. Like almost $4 know, for a I know. Cup. It was way less back then. Holy. Uh, oh, she's making bubbles with her milk. <laughs> Meatball sandwich. <laughs> Our school watch is like way better than this nowadays. All right guys, on to the 60s. Whoa, it looks good. Yeah. I almost feel like I went from a nurse to like a Girl Scout. Yeah. All right, let's get the lunch. I hope there's something better in the 1960s because all I've been eating is apples. All right, so the menu today is pizza. Oh. Green oh. salad with Italian dressing. Yeah. Finally! Milk and a humongous orange. Give me that yeah. one. Yeah. This is the beginning of processed food, thus the pizza. But this is what it got kind of yummy. People. Give me it, give me it, give me it. Give me it. Mm. Presley seems very excited about this. Finally, something I can stick my teeth into. <laughs> This is pretty big. This is like as big as my head. Why were the oranges so big in the 1960s? Because Costco had really big oranges today. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think Costco was in the 1960s. Okay, I like everything on this. Good salad, good orange, good, good pizza. Yeah. I would live in this type, like in this type. I don't know how to open this orange, so I'm using my fork. I don't think that's how you Hey, that's how I did it. Hey, ladies, copy me. I'm just good, I can eat something today. Oh, I just got that in my eye. I just got the juice in my eye. I can't eat anymore. I'm literally oh, in a food coma. Is it just me or did you guys ever give your friends like part of your lunch or trade it they for something? They did to me. Well, I that, still do that. You know, have These oranges yeah. are very good. It's you can play quirky. soccer with this thing. Mine's bigger. This Let's isn't see. like a little thing. You know the thing that you opens? What is it called? The toy where it opens and it has toys in oh. it? Oh, mini brands. Mini brands. These were the days when you had to eat everything on your tray to be able to what? buy What? I can't eat. They got a little bit strict about their like well, you had to consume it all. Maybe they, they should don't. build the orange for me. That's why nowadays they cut your oranges for you. <laughs> this is how you get oranges. This is what people do to coconut, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Wait, wait. What? <laughs> oh! Okay, maybe this isn't gonna work. It must just be for coconuts, because this is not working. It could be a lollipop. Lollipop, a lollipop. All right, guys, next we have the 70s. We are in the 1970s and it is time to get serious, people. We have got the crinkly fries, the hamburger, applesauce, and the jello. And milk. And of course. It's looking a little freaky. And these fries are actually busting this. Or salt, though. Like, I can't eat without salt. Um, Elsie, why are you eating your jello with a um, straw? Guys, we're trying to suck it up. 
Um, it didn't work with the orange. I don't think it's gonna work with the jello. Speaking of jello, this is literally giving me memories because this really rude kid in my class. I sat right by him. It was after lunch. He was like playing outside and he was like, he felt sick and he came in class and he just sat down and he puked all over me and all the desk with this red jello. And it went, oh, and it went, yeah. oh no. Everywhere on the desk, everywhere on my new outfit I got for my birthday. Oh. Sad, sad day. Okay, well, at least you have blue jello. So hopefully that helps. Yeah. Uh, it's very um, different. Different. Yeah. You know what? This is like my classic school lunch, people. Like literally, I remember these fries were my favorite, and sometimes they would be cooked just right, oh, and other times not quite so enough, and that made all the difference. I just like the applesauce. I'm sorry, baby. I don't mean to be rude. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little different from all these dudes. Okay, okay, okay. They riding waves. Me, I'm up on the <laughs> Lunch lady or what? Except Bridal could not their hair now. I look like a cleaning lady now. Yeah. I went from a nurse to a laundry girl to a scout master, and now I less I'm a cleaning lady. All right, let's go get your lunch. Awesome. taste not much about the health. So we've oh. got some nice fries that have been formed into oh, oh my so gosh, yummy. they still give those to us. I know, days. and we got the chicken nuggets that are also fried, yummy. Have a little bit of fruit, we got the chocolate milk, Ooh. yummy, yummy, and chocolate jello. Yum, bon appetit. Me. Fur, me, fur, me, fur. Bon appetit. Me first. I need salt again. <laughs> Chocolate jello, it's chocolate pudding, my bad. Guys, guys, this is my joke. Stop it! Why didn't the cow laugh at the joke? Cause uh, she heard it before. She heard it before, get it? Yeah. I heard, get it? Uh, what are cow's favorite animals? Moose. Moose. Uh, why are we using chopsticks to pick up our chicken nuggets and fries? I think you guys were like, using them as your like instruments. But we really didn't have these actually in America. These were probably used in other countries. Like, how did you get an orange? Mom, how did Chris get an orange? Oh, I'm sorry, I brought you, I'm bringing you an orange. Do you guys know how they used to dance in the 80s? All right, this is how you used to dance. Can't touch this. You remind me of daycare. These remind me of McDonald's. I don't think I'm gonna eat lunch again for about a year. Now my favorite years, the ones when I was in high school, the 90s. Wow! It looks like you work at Pan Express. You um, do. Right, I can't. really cute though. All right, in the 1990s, they were trying to start having a more balanced meal. Like I remember the little food triangle thing, you guys remember that? So today we have spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. <laughs> we have salad, chocolate milk, garlic bread, and grapes. Wow, if my school sauce? actually gave me this, no, I'd be actually excited because it actually looks pretty good. I don't like sauce, so I asked the lunch lady if I can get no sauce. If, sure, if, the, if the grape is crunchy, that means it's good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I still want to use my chopsticks because it's kind of fun. This has been a lot of food, but this food actually looks good. I don't know if I can eat it. Mmm. Oh my god. I kind of like went beyond the mark this time. Lunch yeah. doesn't look like chef. Yeah. I don't like yeah. a French like that. The yeah, ratatouille one. Like, I feel fancy. fancy. Leave me alone. All right, guys, in the 2000s, health was all the rage. And so, today's menu is a bottled water, a chicken wrap, and some sweet potato fries, and some sliced apples. And guys, you see how it's in a new tray? They actually started doing that. Yep, paper trays, people. But now, in my days, they do oh, styrofoam. styrofoam. You know, this would be good. It looks really good, but I got full back in 1940, so. <laughs> All right, our last lunch is 
2010. And now we are in the 2010s. Okay, what do you guys think about my smock? It's cute. You look like you work at Starbucks. Starbucks. I do not. I look like a lunch lady. Stop saying <laughs> I'm a lunch lady. lady. You look blue. like the green goblet. <laughs> All right. Eat your lunch. like we got some broccoli, some orange chicken, some brown rice, and a fruit cup. I'm too full to even eat any of this. It looks like they got it a lot like more healthy, but I wouldn't even know because I wasn't even born yet. So wait, what year were you even born? 2011. Oh, if I you were born after 2011. when it says 2000 and you're a baby. I'm not a baby. <laughs> You guys know what we have from our school lunch videos. Check us out there.